la reine Elsa d'Arendel. Laissez-moi, n'approchez pas Elsa La reine a jeté un mauvais sort sur nos terres Je dois la retrouver. Votre magie est pleine de beauté, mais vous devez apprendre à la contrôler. Il faut tenter de survivre à ce blizzard Ce n'est pas le blizzard, c'est ma sœur Actually, she from the in the beginning she was much more of a straightforward villain um, and 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 a, and a real antagonist to Anna. Um, but we we started exploring her. We wanted to know more about her. And when we thought of them as sisters, it was really exciting and interesting. And we liked the idea that sort of she's much more complex than just a straightforward villain. It's also yeah. what really made her relatable. And in relating, ma making her relatable, we at least understood why she was doing what she was doing. Mm -hmm. We, um, the original sto Hans Christian Andersen story, um, you don't know anything about the Snow Queen. She's very ethereal and, and, and just a straightforward villain. And we wanted to know who she was. And as we started exploring her and thinking about who she could be, we kept saying, well, wh what does that have to do with Anna? This is Anna's journey. Um, and, and Anna's this, this little spirit that's trying to save the world. And we were in a story room, and we no one knows who it was. Someone said, what if they were sisters? And all of a sudden, we all felt something special. We felt the film just elevated yeah, it, and changed. It really became the key turning yeah. point in unlocking the story and, yeah. and really understanding who these characters were. Yeah. Um, a fantastic, uh, our sound editor, Odin, he actually sat with a bunch of reindeers and for a long time because they don't talk very often so you really had to be very patient um, to get the sounds and we were surprised at how deep their voices were. Um, I expected more like a deer and it's really deep but there were a couple times emotionally we actually have a little bit of camel in there because it's very hard to get them to emote emotion. Um, they're a very stoic animal. So, uh, so we, he would bring in and we'd put, be like, put a dash of camel mm -hmm. and then, you know, a real deep reindeer. <laughs> so it was a nice mix. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. <laughs> I think, um, you know, coming in as a writer was a very different angle and, and, and I was very used to sort of the writer's job often being, you know, you're fixing problems, you're, you're reinventing, you're off alone a lot. But to have the directing side of it, you're working with a team of 600 artists and you're giving them sort of the vision and inspiration and then they're bringing back to you something far beyond what you could imagine. So it's definitely a lot more fun. And it was great because right from the <laughs> yeah. beginning you could tell that Chris and Jen had the same vision for the movie and worked very, very well together. Sometimes uh, complementing each other in mm -hmm. terms of um, approach, but they definitely had the same vision. Chris Buck is a very patient man, so <laughs> he does well with me.